What is up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah May. I also go by the name The Glamour. I'm a pro wrestler from the UK and I make YouTube videos. And today's video is going to be a huge catch up on The Wrestling Diaries. So if you are a returning subscriber, you'll know I do this series called The Wrestling Diaries. It went from my training to me on the road. Obviously lockdown happened. It kind of still happening. I don't even know. But we are back on shows and I have been doing my Wrestling Diaries every week. But you might have noticed for like maybe a month or two, I haven't done one. Now I have been wrestling. If you follow me on social media, it is Mariah May X on Twitter and Instagram. You'll have seen I've been extremely busy, um, but a lot of things have been unexpected or last minute and I've just been so busy. Life is so chaotic right now. I haven't really had a chance to vlog as much as I would have liked to. But I did want to tell you guys about kind of the past, I guess like month, two months because I've been so busy. I've got all my MVs and I want to put them in this video for you. So basically this video is going to be me kind of going through each event a little bit about each day, what it was like, and then showing you some of my highlights from the shows. And I'll also link the full matches down below for you guys. And yeah, let's just get into it because it was pretty crazy. So we're going to start off at the 229 venue. Um, so I actually stepped in on the day as unfortunately uh, my dear team member, Kenneth Harpenny, was unable to compete. So I actually did step into that tag match, which was really cool because it was the first ever intergender tag match in Rev Pro, which was really cool. And it was actually my first ever win too, which was really, really cool. <laughs> So then moving forward from there, Manchester, which was absolutely amazing. Again, your girl stepped in last minute. Unfortunately, Zoe wasn't able to be there. So I did step in last minute. <laughs> Part of the reason I didn't vlog because I didn't realize these things are happening. So I wasn't able to vlog and this is kind of why. But Manchester was amazing. I was so nervous because it's like this huge venue, uh, it's a Victoria Warehouse venue. It's huge, it's amazing. Um, the show was amazing. It was just so, so cool to be a part of. So, you know, it all started off quite dreamy and I'm getting to wrestle on the anniversary show. And then that fucking bitch Giselle smashed my face in and I kicked out at two and the ref kind of free. And I still haven't had my rematch. Don't think I've forgotten at the time of filming, which is like a hot three months after this, I still haven't had a Swings about, misses Giselle Shaw with a spear, and Mariah May gets pinned. No, she doesn't.
That was like a real long day, but it was such an amazing experience. I think I was like up at six, drove to Manchester, whole show set up, blah, blah, blah. Had the show, drove home. I didn't get home until like 4 a.m. <laughs> and like, oh, it was just, it was like a surreal day as well. It was, it was so cool. And then the next weekend I went to Leeds and I did a double header for Tidal, which was really, really cool. It was my Tidal debut. I don't know if I've wrestled in Leeds before and I got to do two shows, which was awesome. I was actually the main event of the first show too, which was awesome, as I should be. And then speaking of long journeys, I had Kamikaze where I was supposed to have a championship match. So I drove all the way to Birmingham and then Chikara hit me with her championship and I didn't get to have my championship match. Is it just me or I'm being screwed, right? Left, right and center. No wonder I haven't filmed, you know what I mean? I'm just being screwed over at every single avenue in promotion. I will be getting my rematch or I guess just my match because I never got to have one. So that was a bit of a crazy one. And then after that, I had 229 again, which I have to say is really one of my favorite venues to wrestle in. I've actually been really lucky. I've got to wrestle there like, I believe three times now. I want to say it's just awesome because it's such a cool venue really do like it there and so i got to wrestle hannah which was really cool too i just miss zoe though i just have none of my team i don't have zoe i'm just alone and i'm sad and i miss her this is my intro this is my intro this is my intro Ugh. all of them yep. Like 
Make you wanna take it slow. Uh, I'm the type you never met before. Go up, down, up, down, click, click, reload. Say you got friends, where they at though? You wanna be bad, <laughs> make it clap now. Finally, we wrap up with a big one. You were cool. I was able to valet for my dream team. Still no Zoe, but you know, when she's back, it will all get better. I'm so sure. But it was amazing to be a part of your cool, to be able to valet for team. It was really, really cool. The whole show was awesome. I really recommend watching it, mainly just to see me. But there are other matches that were quite good on the show that you could maybe watch, I guess, if you want to. <laughs> princess with her two extremely athletic so that is kind of the summary of the past few months i would love to have vlogged these but as i said a lot of it was like kind of last minute slash super hectic and chaotic and really early wake up times and just very tight on time and i'm really ocd i have to get everywhere early and just just, you know, be safe. So, um, yeah, I kind of just fell off of it a bit with the vlogging, but I have vlogged consistently since. So you guys will be getting it every single weekend because I'm literally booked every weekend now, I think, until like Christmas. So you will be getting weekly vlogs from me for wrestling and just life too. You'll be getting those as well. So do subscribe if you do want to see my wrestling diaries, which come out every week. I have weekly vlogs too, fitness content, gaming content, a lot of good stuff going on on the channel. So yeah, if you do want to see that, please do subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching this vlog. Um, I wasn't sure whether or not to do it, but I feel like I've done a lot in the past few months and it would be a shame not to talk about it with you guys because some of the stuff I did was pretty fucking cool. And it's crazy to think that, you know, a few years ago we were filming like my training diaries and then we were in a lockdown and now I get to do all this amazing stuff. So my dreams really have come true and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you to everyone who has supported me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know which match was your favorite if you got to see me live because I know a couple of my YouTube subscribers have actually been able to come to the shows, which has been really cool. So if you have seen any of them live, do comment them down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more content and I see you guys all in the next video. Bye.